back the girl that was it. Good morning, Greg. Good Look morning, at good morning, you good morning, today. Every damn day, dapper. Okay, I'm always, I when am I not dapper? It. Always, but I love this. I and then. Thursday, I love this. And well, Monday, hey, I, love this. I like and, you. Okay. Listen, you look very nice, and Thank I can't you. believe how beautiful the club looks. Thank you. Everybody, Thank you, you got to come and see this club. It's gorgeous. It's Christmas. It's yes. everywhere in the air. I smell it. Yeah, I smell it already. I smell the Christmas air. It's really nice. <laughs> Imagine, imagine the smell of a burning log. Now, the weather today, you know, was kind of crappy. But you know oh, what? It's right. a bad hair day, guys. I don't know how bad it looks, but right. the best yeah, I could yeah, do. Yeah, it looks like shit. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, I figured that. Look, don't be this screwing it up. Today. All right. All right. No, and mean. look, I bought I five types of leopard for you today. Yeah, I, know. That's nice. I have on three different That's so leopard wonderful. things, Thank including you. a wonderful. leopard. Look at leopard earrings. Yeah, I just nice. wanted to bust your balls today. Yeah, thank you. So Appreciate good it. morning. That's such a pretty, such good a pretty scarf, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It's actually Where'd very different. That? A friend gave it to me. Yeah. Very good nice. Friend. Yeah. It's very festive. So and this happy. is my little friend here, Diane and Delicato. Diane Rose, excuse me. Well, I it's love the same. The Diane Rose. It's like has some kind of ring to it. All right. So we're gonna stick with that one. Diane Rose, yes. it's nice to meet you. Nice and to you're meet from you. Rough House Rescue. I am. And uh, you met Greg already. And I did. We yeah, have a right. beautiful gal here. She's a uh, one of our foodie uh, restaurant critics on the show, but she also has a beautiful dog named Lioness, who's very well behaved. Look Her name Linus. is Christina. I thought the dog's name was. Danny. I think that dog could do television. Actually, I would love to get them into television. Well, you never this know. One and Danny, the other one, they would be great. They have a couple. They are a couple. They, they Her a couple. Danny. Are you kidding me? There's but, an agency that reaches out to us every once in a while because they need uh, dogs for ads, and they'll oh. be looking for something specific. Well, yeah, she has that. two others, three, and they love to pose. I do they really? Them. Yeah, we're gonna post the picture. I do photo shoots of them all the time. Yeah, and uh, it's really interesting because growing up. When I used to, she was a baby. My daughter was a baby. They played together. They didn't have dogs then in the family. Well, it was only see, later yeah, on. Yeah, it was Snoopy later on. And, Snoopy and, then and uh, my daughter is a dog lover. She's an animal lover. Her grandmother was an animal lover. Her mother is now an animal and lover. And what about you? Uh, no. I like, I I like animals at a distance. Your, your ratings are going to, like your ratings are going to, your ratings are going to drop. No, I'm not saying I don't like them. I'm allergic. So I have to She's be careful. Allergic. Please. My best friend has had a dog the entire time we've been friends since we're children. And what and happens? No, I go there. And, and what happens when you go there? Well, sometimes I used to stay up and cough all night, you know. Did but, you take Claritin or something? Yeah, no, yeah. Listen, but got the story for listen, no but much. now when I go there, she has a hypoallergenic dog, so it's easier. And I spent Thanksgiving. So you could actually have a dog if you want. I could. Well, Thanksgiving, I spent with. Want to take care of so this dog. is just that's an it. excuse. Yeah, that's but it. she yes. really does like. Them. But I had Thanksgiving with three dogs. Patricia B. She has three dogs. I couldn't believe it. I spent. I spent the night. Have I slept, you slept there. With the dogs? No, but <laughs> they were there. I don't understand why she'd have an animal rescue on the program and then announce I'm she doesn't like you. dogs. No, I, I like, like dogs. See, I just look. I said I don't like dogs, and you just came on. I I'm so confused. You don't like dogs either. I like only Rottweilers. Those are the only dogs. Oh I like. well, those are hard to like. I like Rottweilers. You know what, Greg? That's my thing. Is really we have to expand. I mean, we have you. to expand your. No, but I do I'm like right. dogs now. But I just don't, don't have time to be with like. a dog. You have you a know? dog you don't mm -hmm. like. Yeah, this is I a don't want the dog. This is a dysfunctional show right now. <laughs> it is 100. percent You have a dog. You have yeah. a dog that you don't like. I don't want the damn thing. What are you crazy? Oh come on! Now I he's... didn't want the dog. All right, but, but it's very clear. He's got children. It's a shit. It's a How shit. did you get the shit? It's a shit, shit, dog. It's a shit and it's a Yorkie. So it's oh. a shit Yorkie. It's so what? So what do you do with it? It shits. And they do. I know. And so you know do what? you. No, I know, but I go to the bathroom. I, this one goes on somebody's bed. I, would, I can't have it. I mean, now he's good. After I, well, he trained him. Did you say him. through? No, I, I, I no. We, <laughs> we used to play catch all the time. I, I used to do that all the time like this. And I go like this. You know. I go like this. Like the You're dog horrible. loves me. Yeah, I bet the dog runs like hell when he sees you walk in the room. He's all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, and because he sees why. you. That has not, that's nothing. That, I didn't do anything. You know, this is this is love. This is bad. No, trust me. This guy is a piece of cake. He loves everybody. Don't believe him. I'd like, to, I'd like wait. I'd like to see the Shih Tzu and make sure it's okay. It is. He's got kids that adore the dog. I don't Beautiful know. children. Yeah, all right, whatever. So anyway, I brought you a little something on your paper today. What is this shit? <laughs> this reminds me of my dog poop. That is. Little, little things like that, that is my scarf. It's leopard. 
Oh, and I really want this? Yeah, because okay. I thought it See? would be cute. Okay, it's not cute. Okay. <laughs> Why is she giving you parts of her scarf? Because Listen, I love I can't him. Stand this. this is like hood rat hoochie. She, she doesn't like, stuff. he doesn't like stuff, leopard. Stuff. So today was okay? Monday. I only feel that. Look, that's just my, <laughs> just. When you She's put this very, on your list, she, okay, it's easy killer. You just came on the show right now. <laughs> this one right here. This one right, look, this one right here. Three layers. When you're when you're out, I mean, I I feel that in a, a, a right environment, that outfit looks really nice on a woman. Very sexy, sensual, all the above. Yeah. What is sexual and se- uh, 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 sexy? When a woman walks out with an animal print all over the. He don't like it, I, but it doesn't, it doesn't like, like it. Just my opinion. That's it. It's okay, but you know what? I only show you wear that. I'll kill you. I only wear I'm it once in a while. Back. You nah. throw your dog up in the air. Does it come back down? It nah. does. About a half hour later. <laughs> no. Trust me. He just doesn't like leopard, and I like to tease him once in a while because I happen to like it. I bet there's an online store where you could purchase a lot of leopard. Oh, we had a show. Time. We had a leopard show yeah, one day for his really birthday. Wonderful. It was really wonderful. Something I really wanted to do. <laughs> no, about in it. the 80s, the leopard was a really yeah, popular. That, that's in the 80s, and it's not coming it back. It was very popular. Everything comes back. No, it does. It does. <laughs> Look, <laughs> anyone wants to see Apparently, them? it's back because she bought it somewhere. No, someone gave no, me. She had that for like 80 yeah. years. No, like, someone gave it to me as a gift, got more. Let me tell you something. She's got more clothes. <laughs> I do. She never needs to buy. She has stuff from the 60s, the 50s. You never get you never get rid of your clothes. No, I do. I do. No. I do. Some you stuff's know. hard to part with, even though you know no, you're never going to wear I it. No, I do. She can't part with a straw. <laughs> if it ain't nailed down to this thing, she takes everything home. These are the only pieces that are left. <laughs> this place used to be packed with stuff. But how much stuff do you want on the table? No, I don't. No, this, this is, is great. We have it down to a little what? Like this bit is, of a science. Too much. Is, this, why is all this no, stuff No, it's on not the too table? much. It's look, look, nice. Look, the lady was brought to me from a very, very dear friend because I've never been to. Can I talk? Yes. Thank you. Uh, a, a woman uh, named Susan, and I've never been to the Statue of Liberty. You know what I mean? I've been to all these school trips and blah, blah, blah. And so, you know what? She was so sweet. And instead of me going out there, she brought the lady to me. So Isn't that this nice? Means a lot that was to me, nice. Okay? All right, it really does. We should a put a little um, no, leopard don't do decoration no, on don't a leopard I'll give you 50 bucks to find it a leopard scarf. <laughs> <laughs> all right, shut her mic off, please. I bet you could make a leopard. You don't even know. You haven't even met Greg till just now. Wow. This is hysterical. Mm. Yeah. She's so anyway, Susan, that's very nice that she gave it to you. And guess what she did this weekend? What she she cut her tree down, went upstate. Really? And cut a tree down in the forest with her nephew. Oh, I like that. She that's really nice. had a good time. First time in her life. Yeah. So, Susan, I'm glad you went, and I'm glad you got away. She needed to get away. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. She's so, really sweet. uh, yeah. So, anyway, I didn't see her for a few days. So, uh, she had a nice time, though, for Thanksgiving. So, so how Let's was Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. 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 Let's get back to you with the dog over here. Thank you. you know what? I love this dog. It doesn't move. And it doesn't, <laughs> I don't even know if it's real. It's not breathing. <laughs> It's breathing. So that's the kind of dog I like. Just Can like we that. see the dog? Is the like dog visible? Don't leave it alone. Don't the dog's on. The stand. dog's on camera. Lionel. Yeah, Linus. Lionus. Linus. Oh, like the Charlie Brown. I have Charlie Brown, Do you Linus, really? and Peanut. Just Get out of here. Yeah. I'm a big Charlie Brown. Oh, look at the look you just uh, got. Easy. Oh, look at that. Now don't you feel bad. It? Now Mar- don't you feel Greg, bad. Greg, you see, I told you. He's a sea boy. Look at the look. Look at the look. Oh, jeez. Linus is trying to say why. Why are you being mean to me? Uh, wow. No, he's not. No, you know what? Dog, I mean, listen to me. I love, I love dogs. But like I said, I like Rottweilers. That's what I really, really like. I mean, because that's a dog. And the only reason why, and I'll tell you honestly, why I don't like little dogs. Because when I was in the military, we were stationed. Is this going to be a sad place. story? No, not really. Okay. Because the thing is alive, so it's not sad. Okay. And what happened was we went out, hung out. My friend had a little... Toy poodle, is that what it is? Super, super small dog. And the dog liked me. I liked the dog. I was laying down sleep and I had to go up to the bathroom. I got up and I stepped on I but I broke its hip. But oh. the, the dog was now, didn't I ask you if this was gonna be a but sad the dog story. is alive today and well. Well that's, that's all good. That so you're saying you and it hurt me and it really yes. bothered me and I felt really, really it really it's it was very upsetting. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thing was great. And that thing like broke my heart. I really, yeah. really did. Oh. I don't blame so, you. And so for me. I just get scared with little dogs. So for they me, I like, I like yeah. So mm-hmm. I like my big 150 pound, 160, 70 pound dogs. Okay. I could get up, climb on them, ride them, do everything. It's fine. I don't worry. I can understand you know? that. It's you like ride the dog? Want, yeah, I wouldn't want a little little <laughs> dog because you can't ride a little dog. You want to ride a big dog. You ride a big dog? That's right. Oh, Sam, he Sam rides a big dog. Delilah was good. Delilah was my best dog ever. Samson wow. Was Samson was good. Rocky was good. Sweet, I mean, all of them. But 
Delilah she was my baby. Any were they re- of- were they rescue dogs? No, no. I paid like and eighteen hundred how- per dog from Germany. I I think the papers go to the airport, they quarantine. You know how many dogs are available for adoption? You're getting them from out of, out of the country. Well, I was breeding them. I can't breed them. those dogs. But you wouldn't breed today. I would if I really could, if I had the time. I loved doing it. It was fun. It's it. great just being part of it all the time, feeding it. Do you know that great. I'm an animal rescue? Well, we're going to talk about what you are. We're going we're to get into this. Oh, he needs so Jesus, much. He needs, so, he needs help. Oh, all right. Oh, he needs so much work. Oh, that's, that's Mike and Teresa's dog. Is it? Gigi. Do they have their tree oh. up already? Yeah. Oh, dear God. Wow. Wow. She's a beautiful Rottweiler. That looks very festive. I yeah. am in love with her. We and had I'm somebody. We person. had somebody dr- dump a Rottweiler on our property, really? and uh, yeah, and I, I sent it to a, a rescue that takes Rottweilers, and they got it a beautiful see, home. And you know what? And what a just, nice dog! You know, that, no, listen, oh no, I mean, I, I am joking. I gotta give you a picture. It it's to, in my phone. He's when, a, when, he's, it, uh, he's when it comes down joking. to it, when it comes down to rescue animals, I'm, <clears> I'm, I'm, I'm with the only thing that bothers me is because you don't know how bad. The dog was treated the kind of trauma, and it's mm. it breaks my heart when I see some of the dogs they just want that love, and then you try to go near it, and the thing is like so <laughs> See, this is why I can't, it's hard to find a rescue dog that uneducated, you know, uneducated information. No, no, it's what I've seen. No, it's not, not what I've, I've no, that you don't have any adoptable that. No, I didn't that's say, a misnomer. I, I, saw. I, I just I, don't want I, I want to teach you. No, I'm not adopting one. I yeah. want to teach you how you many beautiful adoptable your... dogs there listen. are that aren't shy dogs. Okay, listen, I'll adopt you. Don't worry, I have no problem. <laughs> what I'm just saying, I don't need a home. You need lots of love. You need a life. You need lots other than the dogs. Listen, see, let's... that's that's a misconception. People think that because they're homeless dogs right. that they're unsocialized, well, unfriendly, abu- no, these, aggressive. No, the thing is that it was abused. That's why a lot of time. Oh, but that was so. You're talking about one dog in particular. Yeah, the one that I saw. That's what I'm saying. I didn't say all. Oh, I just said the one that I saw, and I said that alone broke my heart. But see and, that uh, that thought process is what makes people right. be afraid to adopt. That's right. It is. It is. And she, just, yes. her friend, just adopted an adorable little dog from us. Yes. Is the dog uh, shy, aggressive? No, I I just met the dog yesterday. She. Uh, yes. You just met this dog. No. no, my neighbor, my oh. neighbor down the block adopted, adopted from Roughhouse Rescue, and Charlie and I were walking, and and they lost their dog a couple of months. Well, no, pro- probably a couple of years ago, and um, I saw her walk out, and I was like, "Oh my God, you got a dog!" And she's like, "Yes," and we walked right up. And um, Charlie and Gracie sniffed each other, and, and she, that's predominantly that that's predominantly See, look, the that's dog. What I do. When they, I hug somebody, I sniff them. That's predominantly good. what our dogs are. They're socialized. They're friendly. Sure, you get shy. Yeah. Like people, you get people that are dysfunctional or oh, you know and aggressive. She, she said that she was. Linus, uh, I got you back, man. We're talking about you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hey, don't look at Greg because he needs a lot of work. Can you look at how he looks at Greg? Look at how look he looks at, he at him. You. Unless he's look looking at, at me, and I don't look, think so. <laughs> no, because dogs sense when you're a little afraid. You know, they certainly you know do. What? I gotta tell you, cats. Now, cats, I do not like. I no, knew you I were gonna like, say that. No, no, no. Let me just tell you why. And it's not that cats are great animals and everything, but I don't like anything that's so quiet and sneaky. It's not that they mean to me. My favorite animal is a black panther. If yeah, I can have one of beautiful. those. Beautiful. Wow. Okay, but look how big it is. You Try riding I mean? a black panther. I wouldn't. We'll see I, what happens I, I, to you. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that guy, Greg? He got a black panther. <laughs> <laughs> He was a great guy. He was what a happened? Coach. You remember him? Oh God! <laughs> no, wow. I mean, you know it, it's 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 true. It's um, not realizing. They're magnificent. Um, ag- what do you think about the people that hunt them and kill them? See that? I don't see that. Well, that's you take different. these beautiful creatures and you kill them for sport. Beautiful animals. Well, you know what? Be when careful, I Mexico, Greg. I was hurt. No, I, I, be another, careful, another Greg. I said I was hurt, but I didn't get involved. And uh, he's going to tell another sad it's story. Nice. Yeah, you want to try it? <laughs> Does that smell nice? It does. What yeah. is that? It's like peppermint. So it's called it it's, it's called, called leopard. cedar wood. Yeah. Cedar wood oil. It matches the yeah. It matches this today. Yeah, it matches. Try it. Smell it. It's healthy. Oh, God, Isn't that nice? Yeah. What is he doing with our phones? I'm just he's no, we're, we're my, gonna my he's here. he just has to I'm get it all set. Just, just all right. See, so what happens is I'm gonna give shout outs in a couple of seconds. And when I right. do, people are writing in already about you. Oh, they're writing in. The people that are on your feet are on my feet. 
And oh. so I don't like the people. This that is do interesting. That, so I'm not going to read it because no, he is. So. so apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry. What did I apologize for? Now, See, that's all. Look how easy it was. I don't even know what's happening over there. Well, well, well you will. You're going to say now. We, we have a lot of things we have to discuss yeah, now yeah. that you're here. So anyway, getting back to it, I was in Mexico. No, don't tell a sad story. No, look, they were like, hello there. Hi. We're taping. Okay. We just had a visitor. Good afternoon. Hello. We just <laughs> like, had a visitor. Like All right. There you go. Thank you. Got you. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we just have all kinds of visitors that walk in. People stuff. love we us. They just dogs, come. Straight humans. They come you know, here. They Look, come here. we they have a great in. morning, and it's so pretty just here. Walking in here. I love that shit. <laughs> oh, come on. Anyway, oh, what was it with today? I got to say, today is National Personal Space Day. I do love my personal space. I really, really do. I do too. Do so make really? sure you get it. Yeah. I get it. I I had some personal That's space why this I don't weekend. Live with Danny. <laughs> That's her. I love partner. my kid. Listen to me. I Danny, Danny's a dog. He is the best. I gotta tell you, I love him from the bottom of my heart. And his father, Mona, I love you too, Mona. Don't think I don't love you. Okay. Yes, yeah, she's and anyway, and then National uh Mason Jar Day. National Moose. They, uh, you got moose in here? No. no. Like, well, you, you keep touching my hair. Oh, oh, Christ, no. what is he doing to my hair? Look, tell, looks looks tell me it looks better now. Tell me does not look better. He's not helping it. Okay. No, he's not helping it. Right. Okay. And then we have uh, National... No, nah, I don't want to write Meth Day. Come on, please. Where did you get these National... She gets I, them. I, she I gets research them. everything okay, research. before you, you know, show. Uh, stay home because you're well day. National Mississippi Day, Cyber Monday. Well, Cyber right, okay, Monday's big. Right, Come on. Right, whatever. Anyway, Everybody's shopping. Anyway, all right. So anyway, besides that, what do we have? Uh, Diane Rose. We have this pretty okay, lady. But, but we're talking to her. I know, but so what? I like her name. Okay. You just threw the paper away. I know, but I need that paper because I have notes on there. Don't, don't throw it. You don't need it. You don't need it. <laughs> anyway, he throws my story. notes away all the time. Saw, I saw it like dog fighting. That bothered me. Yeah. That bothered me. I, listen, I I used to watch, especially in Mexico, with the roosters. You know, I didn't care less about a rooster, cockfighting, whatever it is. But uh, when I saw the dog thing, that bothered me. Yeah, I saw that. That's awful. Isn't and it's it? like that thing was okay. You know, okay, it was crazy. I know. Imagine the people that do that. I know. I'm gonna ring. Yeah. What do you think? Well, you that's know? very true. Let's I go would, to Mexico. I. It, it's not just in Mexico. It's here in. No, it's everywhere. I know. It's yeah, everywhere. I know it's everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere. It's disturbing. So now your actual so rescue. Wait a How many dogs do you have? Uh, personal dogs. I have three, but I have a few foster dogs. That you're looking to get adopted. Six. Wow. And they're how little. Many, but they're mostly you, little. One of them's like 10 pounds. One of them's five pounds. One of them's 10 pounds. And the other two are like a pity and a little shepherd. So what's the adoption process? What happens? Where do they go? They call you. They go to your website. How does this all work? So when people want to adopt, um, normally, uh, normally before COVID, we would go to different venues like PetSmart, Petco, um, and other outside places, and we would uh, be able to have people come and adopt. Now, because of COVID, if we're at Petco or PetSmart, it's very difficult because we can only have one adopter in the store at a time. And so our process has changed in terms of being able to adopt out of state because we can't do uh, home visits and we can't have crowds of people come anymore. Our events look like parties. We used to have, you know, 100 people show up at the pet store because we would bring 40 and 50 pets. Wow. So now the process is you submit an application online, which was always the same, which is our rescue uh, website, roughhouserescue.org. And uh, we process your application. Of course, we're behind because with COVID, there's been an increase in people wanting to adopt. I guess they have more time. And foster. Do you know what fostering is? No. So fostering is when you take a pet home and you're not going to adopt it, but you have time to take care of it and socialize it and acclimate it into a home. Oh, just like a regular. Oh, I thought it was something. It's like babysitting. Like a regular you're babysitting baby. a dog until okay. it's ready for adoption or until we have, find a home for it. And most rescues are foster based, so the animals stay in somebody's oh, okay. home until they're adopted. Mm hmm. And then we invite them to our, once we process their application um, and we make sure that their home is a safe environment, then we have them come to our um, event, which is generally at a pet smart or a pet co. And we have to have them come privately as opposed to just welcoming people. So we right. have had to limit how many people can come and people get upset, but we have to abide by the COVID restrictions. 
I just, you know what? You just reminded me. I remember when I was going to, when I was getting ready to um, the, um, I was getting ready to uh, adopt to try to come to think about it. You were going to adopt? Uh, yeah, come to think about it. You know what? Years, years back, Rocky, somebody left my gate open. Rocky oh. was a great dog in Queens, my mother's house. I hate that. And a dog and a dog just took off, right? And um, you never got really, him back. Yeah, I never got it back, and uh, and it was really, really bad. Anyway, and I remember going to what are the uh, North Shore, the North Shore, North Shore. and they had a and they had a, a Rottweiler, but there was a bad eye. You know, I didn't care. The thing was like, oh, it was big. It was like, and you know, I wrote that somebody. Uh, you know, they said, "Do you have dogs? Previous dogs?" I said, "Yeah." Someone left the gate. We have to explain. When someone left the gate open, the dog got loose and, and never found the dog. And that was it. That was the end of the story. They denied me because of that. Yeah. Wow. It's very hard. See, that really, that right there and there, I said, like as if it was done intentionally. You have a you very I mean? valid point. You know what I mean? Here's really the problem: you have people that know that they have a reoccurring problem and they won't fix it. You would probably learn from that event and make sure. It'll never happen again. Did your dog have an ID tag on him? Probably not. No, it didn't. We have to advocate for people to not right. only microchip or yeah, have microchip. Yeah, if I you, did that after. Had you I did had that after with the all my puppies, all of them. But don't forget, if they don't have a collar on, people aren't walking around with scanners, and the scanners cannot, and the chips don't always work. Yeah, yeah. And people don't always know how to scan. So part of what we do is teach people about safety: latches on the gate, children opening dogs. Right. And always having an ID tag on your dog because the difference might have been that the dog went around the corner, he had his tag on, and your dog might have been back to you 15 minutes yeah. later. No, and we right. ad we advocate for that. And people get upset and they say, hey, we've had a dog. We know what it is to have a dog. My dog never goes anywhere. In my line, of course, is it never goes anywhere until it goes somewhere. And so right. we just want them to be safe because that's a sad story. We don't want those sad stories. I but was, what if I the person it. didn't it was intentional and no not about the dog getting out that i understand and that's case by case basis because you'll see people that have a pattern of that and we'll say have you gone back to repair it they've not we don't want to give them our dog wow now it's like cps now if you've gone back well it's a Child life protective service. it's a life now now but dogs. the thing is the thing is, uh, if you can just put an ID tag on your dog, yeah. just that alone, we yeah. try to te te teach people. Oh, let me tell you something. I never, ever, ever, ever allowed that ever to happen again. I understand. Coming right back to it, we've got to give that morning shout out to Rob. How are you? Rosemary Gridley. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you. Heidi, how you doing, honey? Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Tracy Negro, how are you? Nina is. Uh, oh, Tracy's Susan. on. Oh, Hi, Tracy. 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 Tracy's with Rough House. Tracy made our, made our logo. Tracy's a graphic artist. Oh, and, awesome. the, and the Tracy, website looks great. This one right here, but we got to talk. Okay, we really have to talk. Tracy. Shout out to Tracy. She okay. did our she did our logo. Nice job. I saw it. Uh, Isn't shout it cute? out to yes. Tracy. She did the logo. Is and she does she it? does all our she artwork. Does, she really? She, yeah, yeah, she's a wonderful graphic artist. Is she yeah, anything like you. Uh, like I me? love you already. Then personality wise, no. Tracy's very laid okay. back. Anyway, um, getting back to uh, Susan. This is Susan Pinky, the one who gave me my lady. How are oh, you, Susan? She gave him Alice lady. Black, how are you? Eliza, thank you for my Christmas tree, by the way. Uh, Russell Montero, Bonnie White, how you doing? Jennifer, I thought you, I think Jennifer texted you, you supposed to be coming here today, but you too. I it's haven't okay. heard from her, Jennifer right. C. There's a reason why people don't answer you back. <laughs> All right, anyway, not to I'm joking. It's just, it has to do with this. Yeah, I know. Look, look, how do you wear something that look, comes off I like think that. it's great. Don't yeah, you guys yeah. think it's great? Right, okay. Chrissy, you go, like it? Go, go it's get, very pretty. Go get, go get a dog. Go get it's a dog. very pretty. Yeah, Lori, how are you? Diana, how you doing? Jax, Beatrice, oh, you're watching. You're watching with your little hubby there. How you doing there, buddy? <laughs> Tammy, 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 where have you been? I haven't heard from you in a while. Jan, Saba, good morning, good morning. Saver, Sava, Saviri, Labita. I hope I got it right. Good morning, honey. Albert and Danine. Heidi, yeah, you need, yeah, yeah, that's right. I need, I need love today. Oh, yeah. you want some Sugar, love, honey? Oh, easy, killer, easy, <laughs> easy. Jacqueline, how are you? Gina, we had a hell of a 50th birthday party. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Vinny did a great job, even though Gina did all the work. It's all right. I still forgive you. No, she just turned 50 and she, did she, she like her? She does the rescuing families and, and her and Vinny, they, they really do a lot of work. Yeah. They really are. They're wonderful. People. How'd she like her photo? She loved everything. She loved everything. <laughs> it was a little wild. She loved <laughs> The one I made for her. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, Patricia, 
Sean, how you doing, buddy? Donna, Sean, uh, amen to personal space. <laughs> See, look, even he said, uh, amen to personal space. All right, Sean, you know what I'm feeling. All right, then we have another Sean, different, S-H-A at Fisk. How are you, buddy? Uh, Joanne, that's his. That's my cousin. Joanne Tassoni's my cousin. That, that's my aunt. <laughs> this is so damn nosy. I can never see this. Is why I'm sick and I speak? Well, this is what I go to. No, no. Well, why can't we say hi to the people no, too? No, my because right now it would take like an hour and a half. Yeah, no, it takes too long. She's right. But Linus is her baby. But Joanne is my cousin. So okay. If you say it, no problem. Anything oh, see, she could say it. I right. can't. Eddie, what's going on? Nanette, how are you, Nanette? Nanette, so far, every band that you recommend, you've been on point. Thank you so much. And don't stop. And then we have Kelly Noonan. And then we have Debbie Mal Maloney. We have Barry Meenan. And Sean, what's up, buddy? Oh, Sean has a hell of a detailing business. Sean, you got to you gotta, you gotta send it to me. Yeah. This guy does outrageous work. He'll come to your house. He'll even detail your dog for you if you want. <laughs> really. He'll pull, he'll pull this. Listen to me. He puts a wax on the car where it beads off, and he can do the same wax on the dog. That, that's so nice. Okay. <laughs> so, Edward, how are you, buddy? Great background. You like that background? I know. It's pretty cool, right? We got a great tech guy, Barry. Uh, Barry, I'm saying Barry. Barry. And then Ruth. Goldstein and Mary Beth Kelly Robin. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I know if I missed a few people. And Rachel Fang, how are you, sweetie? Bridget Ryan. Um, oh, hey, Rachel. Shout out to Rachel. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back. If I did miss anybody, I'm really, really sorry. Well, thanks, and everyone, for back. tuning yeah. in. We'd yeah. love to have you tune in. So, okay. Christy, so now. what's happening for Thanksgiving for Christmas with the doggies? Well, usually I do a photo shoot with them at a place but i'm not doing do you, it this year wait, you do what well i go well, to like this, that whole posing, <laughs> posing yeah, all you know they have special outfits uh, i go it's usually for charity petco this has one, that maybe they'll do it again this do year really? yeah what? you go and you bring your dogs in and they pose with santa yeah no but this is like it, it, i used to go to a photographer in huntington and it was um she would it would go to charity and for dogs and her background was beautiful you know, I have gorgeous pictures of them. But oh. I'm not doing it this year. I was going to go to Fetch in Huntington. Did you ever go to Fetch? It's a great probably, store. Probably, probably. It's a great store. But I am going to do it myself this year. And, you could always um, call Ed. Oh, you have yeah. his number. Oh, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to connect with him. is a photographer. Oh. An excellent photographer. But I, I think I'm going to do it. I take good pictures of them. and. Uh, well, you do do a good job. Yeah. They, You're picking it too hard. No. Look, look, look. She's like, Poof. No. See? He See, look. It. Thank you. Thank you. I don't look at the cameras. So Just can look, see everybody. Face. Greg is being so sweet to the dog today. How yeah. cute is that? Wonderful. You have a they're soft good. side, Greg. Yes, I do. They're good boys, my babies. They're, well, we're glad and, that and you brought him to yeah, see us. He's, he's, he, I got from uh, one of my nurses. I work at NYU. Right. And um, one of my nurses, her two dogs had puppies and i got linus for my dog charlie brown she just wanted a dog you know she wanted her dogs to go to people who love dogs and she knew charlie brown and i wanted you know a brother for charlie and then uh, a year later she gave me her other dog his brother peanut because the father was the real father was not getting along with him he right. would you know, bite him. And she said, you know what? Would you consider taking him? And I said, oh, that's sweet. So I have the two brothers and my Charlie Brown. Zena says, God bless for the loving God's creations. Mm. I hope all families with a good heart adopt. So this dog is up for adoption. No. <laughs> and this one's definitely, I'll give it to you. I'll pay you to take care of this Yeah, one. it's so full of baloney. You would uh, be lost without Valentina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Come on now. Admit yeah. it. Okay. So anyway, love, love. let's talk about, you know, what people need to do to reach you, if they're interested, if they want to volunteer. How does it work? So uh, if you want to volunteer, um, should I look at the camera or should I look at you? Whatever you like. Uh, if people want to volunteer, if people want to donate to the rescue, if people want to adopt or they don't or can't adopt and want to foster, they can go to our website, roughhouserescue.org and fill out an application. We have so many puppies and dogs, um, and we try to teach people about 
the importance of spaying and neutering because even though it's very nice that she had that beautiful family of dogs and found them homes, there are countless animals being euthanized in shelters because um, animals continue to breed, you know, and so these unwanted animals end up at shelters and um, are ultimately euthanized, especially. Is that what they do? I don't mean to cut you off about that. Cause, yes, cause they're ultimately euthanized. They really? Yes, they, See, they kill them. Like uh, euthanize is a nice word for kill them. <clears throat> so uh, it's a wonderful thing, but the, the <clears throat> fact of the matter is we get rescue dogs like that all right. the time. They need a home. And by adopting instead of buying one, right. you're one, you're not supporting the horrendous cycle of puppy mills. Two, you're saving a life. Three, you're you're teaching your children about love and the importance of why you're bringing the animal into the family. And when people say, you know, oh, but they're shy or they're badly behaved or I don't know their background, you know what? You don't know the breeding of the background of these dogs either. So there's a, you can make an argument for anything, but right, right, we, right. You, I could have you speak to thousands of our adopters. We've probably placed 10,000 pets. We can have you speak to hundreds of our adopters. How and do you get puppy, 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 puppies? We get puppies. We get all kinds. We get beautiful. Show her the picture. Show it, put, put up your picture yeah. of the dog that we just placed. Um, we actually um, we actually predominantly rest. We, we help in New York, but there's a tremendous need out of New, out of New York. You know, there's places where the dogs are, are just strays in the street. And we actually go to regions like there, and we opened up a, a ranch in Texas where we pull the dogs from the shelters. And when I say pull the dogs, I mean little fluffy dogs like that, chihuahuas, it's a beautiful dog. puppies by the dozens um, that people think that are not available to adoption, and they are. And I understand, <coughs> I understand, I really do understand uh, the frustration of when people say, why do I have to apply? But we have to do our due diligence right. to make sure not everybody should have a pet. No, I well, that's very true. No, listen to me. We <laughs> want to find them I homes. Used to, I used to get really upset where sometimes you, you turn out you have a beautiful dog and you mistreat a dog. Listen, it, it's not the dog's fault. You know what? My friend, I, I wanted to be a psychiatrist, okay? And all my older friends were psychiatrists. <clears throat> and all of a sudden, when I saw I did, I was, <clears throat> I was still in the military, and plans to go to finish doing the college thing, blah, 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 and all of these guys needed psychiatrists to help them with everything that they were going through. And the only one of my friends that are normal is an animal psychologist. And I think he's at 700, I think Park Avenue, whatever. And I'm like, what do you do? So he goes, come in one day. And he would video. I remember he had the, the big old VHS thing back then. And the dog comes in. He'd go on the floor. He'd play with the dog, blah, blah, blah. And then he owned it. Now, you're talking $125 an hour. Meanwhile, he would talk to the dog. Somebody had a, a pet snake. I mean, people. Well, I mean, what was he? Do, a, what was he doing? He was them? Just helping. Listen, the dog needed relaxation. The dog was stressed. The owners were stressed. Really, more the owners are stressed. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You and hit it on up, the head. Right. So and you hit went, it on the head. So, but you know, if you leave a dog in a house for ten hours, it's gotta poop. It's gotta pee. And they would be like, I can't believe the dog with that and I. And meanwhile, and I said, well, just tell me. And he would say, well, I mean, he really helped them more than anything else. But he's the only psychiatrist that doesn't take meds and has a regular <laughs> wonderful life with no worries, with committing suicide and da-da-da. Yeah. Because it's really hard being a psychiatrist or a psychologist, whatever. And to me, I always feel I could save the world, but I can't save myself. And for him, with the, I, he's retired now, and they did it for like 22 years. It was all. I was going to say you should have him on the show. I know, I know. But I the, don't even know where the he is point now. really is, is that we really want to re-educate people. That uh, I understand the frustration about people applying. We just want them to know that it's our job to just make sure. You know, look, I, I had a I had a salon, and I got four dogs pre-rescue that I purchased um, as little dogs, um, and I didn't have time for four dogs. There was nobody that was going to be the voice of reason for me. Somebody should have said, mm, you have a full-time business, you know. And, um, you know, they didn't get walked and, and all the attention that they could have gotten. And so the rescue kind of um, tries to match up dogs for a person's schedule. Right. You know, if they have a lot of kids, you know, certain situations where what kind of dog would be good, what energy level. And right. so we try to match them up. 
But so you, this is your right, second you know career. You know what? Okay. Yeah, if yeah. you, if you see, but you never know if they're full or not, full bread. Talk to me about full bread. What does it matter? No, 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 no. I'm just asking you. Most of the time, the they're structure. not. Well, no, no, I know most of them. And most full structure. breads, most full breads are known for hip dysplasia mm -hmm. yeah, and that. cancer. I know that. Yeah. yeah. But I'm just asking. What are you asking? If you ever come across a full bread. Well, we did, like I just said to you, somebody dumped a pure breed Roddy. What a gorgeous dog. And I sent it to um, a guy that places Roddy's. We get pure breed Dobermans. We get pure breed Shepherds all See, the time. Know, okay, you know my second favorite. We get pure is? breed everything all the time. Yeah, well, life, those are the big the ones. Yeah. Is, and that's the thing that breaks my heart. That would be heartbreaking. That, yeah. Knowing, yeah. And that thing, that thing is, it's you, my friend. Well, you know what I say? I, I mean, listen, you love them. As much as you get, as much as you can, give them a beautiful home, you know the affection, the warmth, everything that they need. But knowing that I'm going to lose that, oh, I know. God. But 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 life is unpredictable. I know, I We're I here listen, today. We're gone up, tomorrow. Yeah. Why? Well, that's why you have to yeah. live life every day. Why right. not right. celebrate? You know, I lost my dog. Why not celebrate right. with all the love that they can give you? And by the way, you're teaching your children about right. saving them. And uh, I just, my biggest thing is I want people to understand that there are so many adoptable dogs and we certainly, um, I'm not saying we always make the right decision if we deny an application right. and we'll re-review an application. We want to send them home. Right. We save, we save. Yeah. And you know what? We're just people too. But you know, right. if I raise a dog and then I, I, I'm ready to place it, I've spent 12 weeks with that puppy now, you know, I want to send that yeah. dog to a home where they're right. going to have time for it. And the children are going to be good to it. A lot of parents think it's cute that their their children ride them like ponies and stuff. That we saw, um, you know, there's teachings on, you know, those things are not safe. Right. You're putting in an an animal, and it's this, at the end of the day, they're still right. animals. And so we just try to we try to teach people about wearing an ID tag and collar on their pet, you know, for their pet, right. and and things of that nature. But especially during this time, a lot of people are fostering. So we're advocating fostering if you if you can't adopt. And you just have to go on our website. Right. But we get a beautiful, amazing animals. And any rescue. There's rescues all over Long Island. And, um, and wait, where is this? Where's, where's your... Well, we, we have off-site adoptions. Okay. So most of, our, most of our dogs are in foster homes. Okay. And then we have, a, we, have oh, two, we have two big adoption vans. And it's getting harder and harder with COVID as the restrictions get tighter and tighter. And then the people get upset and they say, well, why can't we come? Well, because we can't have a gathering uh -huh. like we used to. So and we can't fundraise. So, well, you're experienced what everybody else is. What everybody else is, is experiencing, yeah. and it's tough. But you know, you got to keep the faith. Basically, we do, and we do, and we're doing, we're doing okay. That's good. Now, so this is your second career. You reinvented yourself when you did the dog thing, correct? Yes. So you was, came from the hair industry. Yes. Wait, when you said salon, I thought it was like a, a dog salon that you had. Oh no, I had a hair dogs. salon for she a lot of years. Salon. Yeah. Really? And that, well, you knew when more of your clients were dogs than people, it was time to turn to rescue <laughs> because when you came into my salon, there were dogs everywhere. Really? Yeah. Well, you had to like dogs. Right, right. And that's if you didn't funny. like them, there was plenty of other salons you could go to. Right. Wow. So, well, that's interesting. So you're in your second chapter. Yes. See, mm -hmm. you could be a third chapter in your future. You never know. I might write a book. That's, that's right. right. That's We're going to connect you right and away. Next time you can come, you could do her hair. And, yeah, we might have, and we might have a fundraiser in this beautiful oh, studio. That, that would be nice. That would be, nice. That would be that would special. Be nice. Yeah. And you know what? I want to have a, a pageant here. It's not, I, I'm oh, I, oh, we've I think done doggy pageants at Lord and Taylor. I, you, when I tell you, because where the stage is now, I'm going to have, it's I want to be a pageant and I want to do a dog because I, I saw it at, um, I forgot what channel it was. When they, you know how they walk with them and stuff you like that. You want to do it? Let's, like, let's do that it. That is, oh wow. my God. I can have adopters really? bring their dogs, yeah. And we can have dogs that are available for adoption. Absolutely. Uh, wow. That sounds, the future. See, that sounds good. Yeah. 2021. Really, really you good. know, some of the stuff we've done, we've had offices call us and ask them to, um, and this is interesting, as a, a relaxation and de-stressing. We've had businesses call us and tell us to bring puppies in. And they do a break really? for yes, about a half it's, hour. It's a good idea because right now and we bring our stressed. puppies in, and the right. and the and the office workers come in and they sit on the floor for a half it's hour. A great holiday, and they, that's, that's, and I, they you know what they did at uh, when my mother was uh, the so, um, the nursing home. They brought yeah. that. Yeah, they do that a lot, they, and they're always golden retrievers. I don't know why, for some reason, always. I mean, just over there, and you see, like the golden retriever, I love it, but it's just the shedding part. 
Yeah, well, they shed. Not all dogs. Well, you have to no. brush. You have to brush them. Yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, my, I mean, I, I forgot what vitamin it was that I used to give the dog, and it didn't shed as much. Of course, it sheds the winter cold. The, you know, it's like three, three times a year really sheds massive hair. So I would just take the vacuum. Probably like a fish. Like, yeah. Probably like a fish oil yeah. supplement. Right, right. Yeah, it was some, but I don't remember the name of it, and it worked really, really well. And I gave all my dogs that, and I gave them a nice. But see, if that bothers you, then you don't get a dog that has it. Like no, you would I never get. It. You would never get a German Shepherd. Oh my no, God, know, they I shed know. like it's nobody's really business. Good. I love German Shepherds. You got to brush them. See, this is the side of Greg I've never seen. Well, this whole see dog it. thing. What? Yeah, Look, it's you know nice. Ruin the moment. You're ruining the moment. You know yeah. why? Always has to ruin the moment. Because it's nice. You know why? Because a, 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 he's, whatever. He's being. A, you know, he's being. Probably. He's being honest, and he's saying he uh, he nice. he understands yes. the obligation of it, and he doesn't want the hair. So I'm saying I like that he's like I see this part of side of him. He does but have the dogs. He does, I didn't think he, he does have, No, he does have a heart about them. He does. I could tell. This is a compliment, isn't it, guys? Isn't yes. this a compliment? Okay, thank you. Yes. Uh, I hate compliments. Anyway. Okay. He doesn't anyway, like it. Let's talk about the dog again. Anyway, but even the German Shepherds. I mean, we were little, and my brother got one, and her name was Duchess. I got to tell you, the most beautiful. And they're beautiful. smart, oh, and God, they're loyal, smart. and they're loyal. And it's true that you know what? I got to say that. All my even when when I used to come home from work and I, I'm in my suit, my dogs would never jump on me. They would come, they'd stay there, they'd wait, they wait. Whoa. And I'm like, wait a second, wait a second. And I go upstairs, change, and as soon as that came halfway down the stairs, now they just jump and, and I love that. I love that. I mean they're they're very, very smart dogs. All dogs are very smart. I but that's what I want to say to you. Vocabulary of I wanna, words, you I'm glad that? you brought up the vocabulary. You know what I want to say to you? Your vocabulary sounds like breeds, but in rescue. These dogs are so many breeds, right. and that's what makes them so special. unique, mm -hmm. so special, yeah. beautiful dogs. Uh, people should go on our website. You have to see the dogs that are sitting in these local animal controls that we pull from. They don't vaccinate them, and they euthanize them usually within a few days. And if they're an owner surrender, they can euthanize they them right to, away. Wait, do they have to euthanize them? Okay. I mean, no, 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 I'm sorry. Sorry, wrong word. New to them. Do they have to? Okay, in rescue, the only reason why we want there, there's two schools. I mean, of if I'm if I'm if I just see the dog, you bring me a dog, and I like it, and it's a it's a male or a female, whatever, and I just there's I mean, two for, for there's a dog two for a male dog, I'm like I feel really bad because it's like. Are you sure you don't feel bad for yourself? No, I said. Then I'm why are you the holding dog. yourself? Why are you holding yourself? <laughs> holding yeah, what are you holding? You're holding I yourself. What the hell are you holding? Great. I just wow. we Jesus just talked. Right. Touch it. We <laughs> just keep your hands over there. <laughs> We right just now. talked about neutering and you're, you're holding yourself. All right, yourself. come on now, Greg. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> are you going to have me back, Greg? <laughs> There's two schools Aww. of thought. There's two schools of thought. Look, we used to, we used to, we used to spay new to the puppies um, at three months because, like, and then no insults. But, you know, then they're breeding these beautiful dogs. So then what are we what are we killing ourselves for? Here we are trying to save them it, through our hands like sand, through our, falling through our hands. And then we have people breeding them at home. It is a vicious cycle. We all in rescue want to be out of work. We don't want to see them die at the shelter. So we don't want people breeding them. So if we don't neuter your dog, what might happen? Now, there's two schools of thought. Is it is it healthy to neuter a dog? You're going to get veterinarians that are going to say yes. Um, male dogs can get um, certain things. Female dogs right. can get right. um, pyometria or infected uteruses right. that they have to be spayed. Yeah. And uh, does it help minimize cancer? You know, just like with food. Right. Right. First grain-free food was good for them. Now grain-free food right. is bad for them. Right. It's right. like for us, right? It's the same thing. Yeah. It's just it's different. Breed. So, so she's neutered. So in is she neutered? Yeah, well, I mean, she would be spayed. Day. She's a female. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. So <laughs> do we have to? Yes, because we. What is the point of me rescuing this dog if you're going to go breed right, more? Breed more, yeah. So that that's our that's our thought process, and also it's healthier. We believe, especially for a spayed, fifty percent. Uh, you have a greater chance of a female dog getting. Um, Abdominal, I can't think of the, the wording right now. Um, cancer, spayed, really? cancer, if, Wait, they're, not if, they're, spayed, if they're not spayed, if they're not spayed, they can get infected uteruses and male and male dogs can get other things too. And then you can, you can have an argument on the other side right, too. Right. So the thing is in rescue, it's different because what, what it was, what is our movement? Our movement is we don't want these dogs innocently killed in shelters because they are a victim of humans irresponsible care for them which means letting them run in the streets letting them mate 
We have people that bring in a mom and their puppies and the father to the shelter. They got a dog. They got another dog. They had puppies. It's not my problem. I pay my taxes. I'm going to bring these dogs to the animal control. Animal control, take my dogs. Okay, animal control is just take them, right? No, yes. Ass, right? Now, some animal t- controls don't even post them; they just euthanize them because they can. Uh, some animal controls will post them, but you only have so much time. Right. And then they're exposed to disease. Why? Because they're not vaccinated. And this is in certain regions where right. we choose to rescue most of the animals because we it's it, they're in crisis. They're in crisis so what's mode. What's the cost to rescue? To, Very to expensive. It's very. You have to pay for what shots. You have to pay for everything, so it can be. So a people hundred say, dollars, "Well, what's pe- so?" People say, "What's the difference? Why?" Okay, so when we have to transport them, they trans. They're traveling. If we tra- if we rescue them from Texas, which is it's worth it's the biggest state, and it's also the ho- that in California are the two highest euthanasia um, uh, states in the country. Okay, the southern states also being a problem. Uh, Georgia, North Carolina, right. South Carolina, meaning overflow of animals, um, different. Um, these are people with a different mindset. Okay. In New York, we don't have stray dogs. If somebody sees a stray dog, you'll have three people pulling over trying to catch the yeah, dog. That's true. Right. That's true. There, it's a normal thing. When I say there, it's in Texas. So yeah, we, yeah, we built yeah. a ranch and we took them from the shelter. Um, now, why is it so expensive? We have to vaccinate them. You take one sick dog. We spent tw- we spent twelve thousand dollars on one gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't know how big she got. A uh, fluffy dog. I don't know what she was. Um, we still got that same three fifty adoption fee for that dog, and we spent twelve thousand on her. We had to tra- We have right. to transport them, and they charge by the crate between one hundred and twenty five and one hundred and seventy five cra- dollars. We have to do um, blood work on them to make sure they're not heartworm positive. We have to vaccinate them. We have to pay for their food and their boarding. Right. And everybody that takes care of them is a volunteer. I have over 100 volunteers that take care of their dogs. That means they take their time out on their Saturdays and Sundays to sit right. Right. to send these animals home. And we say at least respect the process. Try to understand our viewpoint. And yes, you have to charge an adoption fee. And even right. at that, we're losing well, money. No, 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 and no, now, no, well, no, that. a I lot mean, of people want to know why it's not free. And I say, okay, here's the difference between a municipal shelter and a rescue. We are counting on your donations and our adoption fees to pay the bills. The municipal shelter, your tax dollars are paying for the town of right. Hempstead shelter. Gotcha. And, they, and they have a mighty good right. budget, too. Really? <clears throat> mighty good well, budget. Yeah, I, I knew that. Now, why yeah. aren't they open? Why aren't they open? seven days a week. And that last time I got on, I was on a radio show or a podcast. I got in trouble from somebody that was a volunteer or worked at the town of Hempstead and said, you know, whatever. But I'm like, how could you be closed on Saturdays and Sundays? That's when people are off. That's when they want to adopt. Why are you closed? You have a, you have an amazing budget. I'm not going to quote the budget. Because then, right. So, and it's the difference. The animal lovers are doing it because it's their love of, right. It's just like, I have to give a a huge shout out to my volunteers. They take care of the dogs every day. And they take them to adoptions, definitely, definitely. and they do it selfishly, and they take care of them. Well, they have a love for the dog. Shout out! Yeah, really. Whoa. Thank you. Proud of you yeah, that's I mean, really nice. I know we joke and tease, but I, it's it's not a joke. It's a hard job that, that you, you have. Do. Well, we so, want we watch them die every day on death row, and we rescue as many as we can. And I want to just advocate that. But my biggest thing is I want to teach people about just a simple ID tag. You'll have your dog back in five minutes as opposed to it potentially going to a shelter and never seeing it yeah. again just because you I didn't. I tell you, I was on a mission. I went to the precinct. I was like, my dog. Well, and you know like, what? My, my, pit, my pit bull has, um, I tell <sighs> people, my pit bull has an embroidered collar with my phone number on it. So you can never lose the tag. Yeah, but you know what I do with my little ones? I tattoo. I put a little tattoo. I had a tattoo. I had my Did friend. It- to put GC on all my dogs. But what does that mean no, to no, the no, average no. person? No, not to the average person. But you know what? If there was ever a chance of something, I know it doesn't. Maybe it was just for my own security, knowing that they're, you know what I mean? I didn't say to brand the them. The shelter's not going to know what that right, means. Right. And you know what? It, it was, to me, it's afterwards, then they, then they all got the chips, but it was after I lost the most important wow. dog. You know and I, mean? I want to help. Like, we wow. want to help people. People get upset and they go, well, I've had dogs before. And, you know, some people embrace it and say, thank you so much. For the information and some people are like well we've always had dogs and i've never lost a dog but we just don't want we want to spare people the heartache sure the kid leaves the gate open the dog gets hit by a car that happened a few weeks ago they're heartbroken it was one of our dogs yeah but then you deny me from freaking i, I didn't mean, I, deny no, you no, 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 you're, I meant they did. and i was like the dog couldn't have a better home first of all you come to my house 
immaculate. First of all, my dogs didn't even bark. I trained my dogs not to. Their the thought, way I trained, their and thought like, process would be everything. Their thought process would be, what steps did Negligent. you put? What what steps would you put in place? That's what we'll say to them. We'll right. we'll we'll say to you, what steps have you put in place to change gate. that? I didn't have the safety gate. Like would, would you have done it? Gate. If you were with us, we now what we do is we somebody lost their dog. Okay, right. they love the dog. It got hit and killed by a car. It wasn't even a year old. We adopted the dog out to them. Okay, wow. what will you put in place going forward? So then we said, okay, everybody has to have a safety latch on their right. gate. Right. Does that sound militant? It could, but I could save you from losing your dog. Yeah, but you could also. Well, you have to have rules. Too. Yeah, you do it. It's okay. You know, when I it's see the people, same thing. listen. I, I, I did. It, it kind of bothered me a little bit when I saw this woman years back. You know how you put a collar on a dog on a, on a dog wall. She had it on the baby. You know, it was a strap. Mm. And you know what? She the had kid three was kids. on a leash. Listen, the kid was on a leash. <laughs> no, three kids. Three kids. And the, and then you know they had the body strap thing. And you sat there and you looked at this woman. And she I don't think people apart. do that anymore. And I that, think that's really like, controversial. No, no, it, no, no, it was. I've been mean, talking about years back. And she's holding and she's pushing the cart, the bags, whatever. And I sat there. And at first, I'm going. How could she do this? But then I thought about it. I was like, how is this woman ever going to be able to handle three little kids like that? Right. And you're trying to do something. What if you're by yourself? You don't have anybody to help you. What are you going to do? I know it sounds and it looks more like, oh, my God, you put your kid on a leash. But what are you going to do? You're going to hope and depend somebody. I mean, listen, I didn't agree with it. I didn't agree with it. But then when I really when... thought about it and I saw that. People know. get upset when they see the dogs in crates and kennels. Where would you like us to house them? <laughs> Well, do you think or they're they all upset for that? They get upset for that. Oh <laughs> yeah, or the dogs in a crate, or you know, it's like listen, you have to, be, you know, you have to be um, common, common sense. Got to think about it. What are you supposed to do with them? We all? can't have puppies and big dogs running around. If there's poop in the crate, we clean it up. If they right. pee, that's what they do. They pee, poop, eat, and sleep. You know, mm. and and that's what it is. So you know, we come under fire for. Sometimes being you guys strict can't with win anyway. you know, mm-hmm. we you guys can't, can't, win, can't anyway. win anyway. So now with the holidays, do you find that you know parents will bring children to try and adopt dogs yes. and things like that? Mm-hmm. So this is a good time for you then, right? It will be a good time for us, but how difficult is it gonna be for us to have one adopter in the store at a time? Yeah. When we how many did you how many did you have? We used to be able to send home forty and fifty dogs on home on a oh weekend. Wow. So oh. we're trying to reinvent it. Now you have this awesome facility. I might have to speak to you. That's it's a fun deal. <laughs> if it's to help you out that, you know, Because you we have it. two. I have a, an amazing I wanna give a shout out to um Tracy who donated a brand new adoption van to us. It's very expensive. Congrats. And yes, and that has enabled us to go to places with the dogs. Oh, and so you go with from house to house and things like well, that? Well, no, we can go, we can load the van and we can go anywhere. We can do a pop up event. Oh, the problem is up. we have to be very careful because, you know, every day the restrictions are changing. Yeah. And mm-hmm. not everybody wants to wear, I have no problem wearing a mask. If it right. means keeping people safe, right. then, then we're going to wear yeah. a mask. So it is, but if we had a, a venue where we could come and have more than one person yeah. see a dog. Do. We have the stage there, this, even outside if I have to. We would it, park our two adoption yeah. vans right out front. Yeah, that would be great. Mm-hmm. That would and be. we could do that. Okay, that's, that's awesome. That's a given. That, that's not a problem. So now, you know, speaking about the holiday season, you know, with business, you know, I, I keep in touch with a lot of small business because I believe in that. Um, they, people have to do different things. Now, this one woman that I read about today, she really came up with a good idea. What she said. She has, you know, has a lot of items in her store. And um, it's sort of like an like a, a person's name attic, you know. And people buy things for $250, which a lot of people spend that on their kids. And with that gift card, when you buy it, you get a personal visit from Santa to come to your house and deliver the gift. Oh, that's, that's so ingenious. Nice. That's a great idea. So this is a woman that's thinking out of the okay, box. Yep, yep, yep. I want you know? to tell you, we have a printer in, I have a big printer in my house and the guy that came to repair the machine, if he couldn't be Santa and his name was Santa. Really? And he was the most incredible Santa. And I said, do you do Santa? Because he was, uh, he's like, yeah, I do Santa every year. He looked just like a Santa Claus. You know, I, I got to tell you something. I but love, he's not I from love, around here. He's from I, New I Jersey. Love, I love costumes. Yeah, you do. I, I you look love, good in most costumes. I love costumes. Like Batman or Santa or the Hulk. I love costumes because you know why? There's not one person that I don't put a smile on. Yeah. Now, would not you put, one. now I'm going to call you out. Uh oh. Would <laughs> you put a Santa suit on? I have one. 
No, I, I said to you, I have. You have a Santa I like, suit? I have like three or four of them. I love. I said, you I You know love what that. I see, I Valentina? I don't know what you see. <laughs> I see him in a Santa suit. I see. What's your name? Christy. I see Christy coming with Lewis. Linus. Uh, Linus. Linus. <laughs> and doing pictures with Santa. Oh. So Whoa. I see someone just having to ask, can you be Santa? So <laughs> and I see, and I see. You don't have to go that far. I, we, we, you know, we do a lot of different charities. We're working because with we three. Because we do that every Christmas. Our friend Pete, or we have other people dress as Santa, and people bring their dogs, and it's a fundraiser. Yeah. You pay $5 for a picture oh, with your dog, yeah. Yeah. and it's a fundraiser for us, and then they get the picture. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, oh, you never know. Just, yeah. just let me know. Just, I'm going to have Greg me, so busy. I'm I don't know. You, right? like, I'm not well, busy enough. Like, I don't know what you're going to do. He's going to be fostering <laughs> well, dogs well, left and right. Easy killer. Easy, well, easy. Uh, he has a little house. dog that he throws up in the air. Yeah. Yeah, he I, probably wrote that on the application. That's oh. probably why he got denied. Well, but I geez. caught it. Yeah. I know, but every time. Did you write it on the application? No, you no, threw the dog in the air? So I also like to talk about a serious thing, which because I always hear about the seniors coming up. Seniors, you have to check your Medicare supplements. You have to change them before the end of the year in order to get your benefits again for next year. So if you want to keep what you have, you don't do anything. But if you want to save money and do something less, check out, go to our website, Breakfast Club, and send us an email. We'll give you a referral of someone you can talk to to save money on your medical benefits. What is the name of the website? LongIslandBreakfastClub.com. .org. That's right. So we do a lot of this at our meetings, but uh, seniors, make sure you might want to save some money uh, because they have a lot of new programs out right now. Everybody's, We're gonna, everybody's yeah. saying how, how, how beautiful that is what you do. Oh, wow. thank you. So Maria, Zena, how are you? Uh, Teresa, Sherry, Rosalie, Mind Your Business, Kirby, Liz. Oh, Auto Flex Detailing. Thank you, Sean. I'm so sorry, okay? Joanne, Stacey Abrams. Uh, Karen, how are you, love? Lauren and Jay Stein and Sava, what a great idea for the job adoption event at G's. Are you going to come Mary, to our adoption yeah, event if we have it here? Of course they would. Are you kidding me? We'll serve hot chocolate. That's it. Oh, we're gonna yeah. have a we're talking Greg into a fireplace though, guys. It's cold in here. Oh my God, that would be a miracle. Right, yeah, I have a would lighter. Nice? I have a lighter. Here's your fireplace. I'm gonna have a lighter for you. No, we want a fire. Hey, can you put a background of a Can't fireplace? Can't we? We could do that. We could just do it on the show. Put the gas ones in. I bet we could do a fundraiser for a gas fireplace. We fundraise for everything. <laughs> Let's do a fundraiser for Greg, for Greg to get a, a gas fireplace. <laughs> so sweet. Wouldn't you know, that be pretty? So yeah, sweet. it would be, but uh, I don't know about that. But <laughs> <laughs> right. well, well, yes, we'll I'll see. be there. People are like, yes, I'll be there. <laughs> How nice is that? Yeah. Oh my God! So, what are we doing this week, Greg? We all got right. something well, coming up Sunday. Uh, first of all, Kathy Williams, happy birthday, love, love. We're supposed to have a birthday uh, this weekend, and um, the band got sick. So, hopefully, you guys are feeling better. Uh, the band is blend, and hopefully, they'll they'll be back soon. Samantha, how are you, love? I'm sorry I didn't give you a shout out. Um, and this week, I I forgot who do we have this week. I can't remember. Saturday we have Saturday. Here Saturday. Spectrum. Oh, Spectrum. That's right. Spectrum. That's right. Spectrum. 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 And we'll be yeah. do a cake for and, uh, Kathy Saturday. Yeah, that's right. We're going to do a cake. And what do we have Saturday morning? What? Cake. Oh, we have the Christmas drive. That's we have right. the Christmas drive with Gina. Already, you know what it is? I can't believe it's already. Tomorrow's. Oh, wait a tomorrow's second. Tomorrow's December. Wait, December's tomorrow? Yeah. Wow. Yes, it is. I'm that's so happy it's December. I'm seeing people driving with Christmas trees already. Yes. Yep, and I'm decorating for Christmas you know now. What? what are you decorating? I'm Please. decorating. I put I put all the Valen Thanksgiving Valentina, stuff away. Not for anything, but there's no tree in here. No, excuse me. Did you hear what I said before, Killer? What? <laughs> I said to one of my friends, thank you so much for the Christmas tree, which is coming right there. I have to pick it up today. Just be goes, chilled oh, now. We missed it. First of yeah. all, it looks so beautiful. See it. Gabrielle, how are you, buddy? Garcia. So it'll be and here Aneta, for our adoption Seven event, Asuka, Valentina. How are you guys? That, that's up to him. The club is his domain no but the tree will be here yes okay that's his domain and now you'll have a fireplace sean easy killer easy. thank you All sean right. thank you for your right. support sean oh look oh you gotta see, look at the background thank right you look, look there is oh, a fireplace. <laughs> Yay, that looks great I, I 
actually yeah, like that. Fireplace. I want that for the Do next you show. You know what it will bring to this place? Oh. Starbucks has fireplaces. <laughs> This is not you know Starbucks. This is better than you. Starbucks. You know how relaxing it is you. to sit by that fireplace? I'm, I'm I'm and I'd be you. warm. I won't have to wear all these How many of you layers? want to advocate that this place can we you really gotta see what the place looks like? It just it's, needs a nice cozy fireplace. It's a big secret. It looks beautiful. Let me tell you. We gotta get more people in here. Yeah. We're gonna do an adoption event. We're gonna do a fundraiser right. here. Greg just met me. I think he's ready to toss me out. Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah. She's special. <laughs> she is special. Special could be good and bad. I know. Is it bad? Am I bad? <laughs> no, you're kidding me. You're great. You're uh, great. You're you guys are great. great. Really, really, really. Uh, this yeah. was a really nice show. I, I kind of had fun today. And the Christmas thing put me in a good mood. And then there's another guy, okay? They're working on um, an area in uh, Roslyn, the Roslyn Landmark. And they're finding messages in a bottle in this one area. Wow. And there's a big story about it today in Newsday. That's so interesting. Messages in a bottle. And they're quite interesting, uh, what they're finding. You guys should read it today in Newsday because it's uh, really says, sweet. We don't need a fireplace. It's very warm in here. Tell Beatrice <laughs> to come sit down. It's freezing. I have three. Beatrice, check this out. Hold on. <laughs> check it out, Beatrice. One, <laughs> two. It is not warm in here. Yeah. I have to say I do too. One. And I, I got have a lot boots. of layers. She, and she just said one. She pulls out a chain. And if I knew. Okay, yeah, yeah, look. No, look. Here's my blouse. Look, easy, like, easy. If I knew it was going to be so cold in here. I, I have hand warmers. I got those little hand warmer things if you need it. I would have brought could. mittens with me as well. Well, I have them in the car. I should Somebody have them donate in. a fireplace here. Please. Diane. <laughs> How are you, Jen? Draco, I see that's Greek. How do I pronounce that one? You don't have to. Just say I hey. I say Diane. How are you, Diane? Oh, Dracopolis? Dracopolis. Oh, she's one of our volunteers. Is she? she? Yes, every great weekend. Job. Thank you, Diane. Every weekend. Go. She you got great there. support, oh. my yes. dear. Yes. You Look, really Eva do. Susan says, hi, Beatrice. You're right. Sometimes too hot with flames. <laughs> that's my girl. <laughs> The lady speaks. Yes, she does. <laughs> Beatrice, you're welcome to come down here, and you better wear a couple of jackets. She takes them off. She even my even my tea <laughs> even my tea is cold. Yeah. We have a quite. A, the, Greg has a quite a nice group of people that come here we'll on a regular let you basis. Heater, they said. <laughs> <clears throat> no, we want a fireplace. I love that. Look at that background. Look can I get this. a shot of that? Yeah. No, gonna, it's, you, you can see that. I gonna, love you're that. gonna get the whole show. I'm yeah. gonna send it to you. So oh, look at this. You, you're Who's much this? prettier in person. That's her. Is that you? No, that's this. Now you look better in person. Yeah, she does. I do? Yeah. yeah. That picture's a few you years old, You need to get too. a new one up there on you. I don't take pictures of me. I photograph the dogs. Yeah, and I see you have a wish list, too. We do. We have lots of wishes for things that we need for the dogs. It's really something. I give you credit for what you're doing. Okay, Diane said, hi. Oh, my God. They mentioned my name. They're always, they always mix us up, Diane. Oh, she because Director Diane and Diane Dracopoulos, okay. yeah. Diane used to come to my hair salon. That's how I met her. Oh, really? Yeah. Now this lady and she adopted from me, and that's how we get a lot of our volunteers. I they, have to go into your salon, get hair cut, and then you, I eat you, a, you my salon. My salon is long gone. Amen. Yeah. You still cut hair though, right? I don't. You really don't at all. I no. And you know what? She, I have you a lost it for it, right? I yeah. I wanted to do something. I wanted to do something purposeful. And not that people don't. Down to one. That was quick. I, I don't not that not uh, not that people not that pe <laughs> people get very happy getting their hair done. That right. is purposeful, but not purposeful enough for me. Okay. Well, guys, I well, want to say thank you so much, Patricia. How are you? Um, I wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for having it's me. A good this show. Really, fun. really, really, thank you. And, and, I learned a lot too. And hats Did you? Off to, hats, hats, don't listen. I'll just go fix the hair. Later. <laughs> anyway, um, I would have fixed the hair. Say, I didn't know. Listen, I have, a, I have a rake right in the back. <laughs> anyway, um, what I wanted to to say is really what you do is outrageous. It's thank really, you. Really, you're you're, and, you're the and, whole you're, package. You're, you're no joke. I try. You really are you're no joke. Thank you. And, and it's like I I always say kudos to people like that because you know what you have a big heart. I can tell. Thank you. Yeah, you yeah. do. You're very sincere. Yeah. yeah. Very Don't sincere. Don't wear that lipstick. It looks really horrible on you, too. That's another thing. Red <laughs> lipstick for Christmas. Yeah, you don't like, like the red? Yeah, These like two have a love-hate relationship. Yeah, yeah. How long has this been going on it's for? It's been a while now. It's a, it's a year, actually. Over Jennifer, here. love, love. And, How are you, hon? And Linus is looking at both of them going, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> well, people for that Linus. know us know that this is uh, this is what we do. My daughter just checked in, so, you know. Yeah. She checks. She watches him. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she really does. does I don't know how you do it, hon. 
Does she, I don't does know she how straighten you do them it. out? Look, I love that fireplace. I love that. <laughs> I'm so enamored with that. Oh my God. Tell me to get ready. Home Can he this. teach me how to do that screen background thing? I love that. You, and why does it have to be green? Because that's how it can reflect. Otherwise, you're not going to see it's it. A special, it's a it's a yeah. You can't, but you can't wear green because then it's going to you're going to be. Part but how of come it. it's always a green screen when you want to put project something onto the background? Because we all know that that's not a real fireplace. Yeah, We're okay. all cold. I know, I know. But we'll but we'll talk about that after anyway. Well, she's still talking anyway. about the cold. Okay. Okay. Anyway, let's thank our sponsors: Tranquility Spot, Seven Hundred Franklin Avenue. You definitely have to go there. It's a great place to go to great massages and have a salt cave. I heard about that feet. place. I want to go really, there. You're going. You're going to go. You definitely gonna gonna go. I want to go there. It's in your bag. You're going to love it. Yeah? You're yep, going. That's it. Oh, that's and actually, so nice. Actually, and you're getting Italian bread because yeah. oh. I forgot to give it to you. Thank you. Don't yeah. worry about it. It's good for We do Italian yeah. bread on Always the show. Keep it, listen, you keep it on the side of your car in case you want to hit somebody with it. Well, how old that's is right. the bread? Oh, no, it's Six weeks. this morning. I took it out today. Yeah, I, I met her at the out. bakery today. Yeah, yes. Got it. That's, that, do you need aluminum foil around that? I'm yeah. going to Tranquility. Look, like, yeah. I'm going to send you. No, I'm going to send you in the car. I have a coupon for you in the car. Well, I want to thank Valentina very much for this. Oh, well, thank Greg, too. Thank you, Greg. I want to thank you, love, love. Thank you. We're a team. We do it together. Anyway, Oro Puro Jewelers, for all your 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 jewelry needs, especially he has a lot of sales going on right yeah, now. Yeah, I have to go see him. And, I haven't uh, seen him for a while. He's got my jewelry. I have to pick it up that he fixed. Anyway. <laughs> I'm not oh, allowed. How are you, Richard? I'm really glad that you're watching. I miss you, cuz. Um, and then uh, definitely have to thank uh, Prince. Prince does taxes, and he's with Jackson Ewart, and he's in Franklin Square. And the guy, he does everything by the book where you're going to get money back if you deserve to get money not that you deserve we all deserve to get money back but he always finds ways that that you may not think of or he doesn't do anything shyster so you never have to worry about getting so you won't get arrested like if right. you use you know, one of those he really that's good he's to know great, he's a great guy he really is and he doesn't use this kind of oil crap i think that smelled but, so good today <laughs> didn't so yeah, it yeah, christy did you yeah. like it the, do the dog was trembling before she we just it. he just okay? threw it yeah. calms you. The dog, you look the dog was smelling it puked right on my floor the there. only one yeah, i don't like really is good, orange right. it was like, a little puke they picked it up i don't like the orange oil that i don't like uh, I tried the orange i threw it out today anyway guys i love the way linus looks at everybody linus all right, give me a kiss. You're very kiss. sweet. Aww. Oh, my God. I can't believe he's doing that. <laughs> oh, my God. Greg, I'm shocked. Boy. Shocked, Greg. Yeah, I'm shocked, too. <laughs> <laughs> I well, certainly... you, see, you know what? I got to tell you real quick at... before we go. That's a male dog. I definitely don't let. Male dogs lick my face. You see, that's, that's why you were holding. Him. You got him in a soft spot yeah, today. So you know Whoa. That's, that's it. It's hey, cute you know, dog. Baby. It is. Cute dog. Christy, so anyway, that's thank a you first. so much for being on the show. Love, love. Yes. All right. Um, hopefully, we'll get to see you soon. And if anybody, look, look, I love doggy kisses. <laughs> oh, uh, but that time, I, I don't even want to see what the rest is going to be like. Later. No, you get animal advocate. You get oh, animal look, look, love. Rich your show's, show's going to blow up. Look, Rich goes, he kissed a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Oh, it. wow. Oh, God. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Iris, I know you just came on now, but you can just watch it a little bit later. So, guys, thank wait. You when so can they watch it later? Anytime, right it's now. On, just watch it right on. now. It's on, it'll be on all the time. So, all you have to just do is go on G's, or it'll go on yours. It's on your stuff, so you don't have to worry. So, people are gonna it's know that they there. can watch it again later. That's right. Yeah, later, well, I'm later, gonna send never, it to never, you. Never, never. Okay. You don't have to send anything. It's on there. Oh, okay. Okay, but sometimes people no, like they don't. you. Only you do. No, only you do. People call me and say, "Can you send it to me?" No, they don't. They do what you do because you're lazy. Okay. She wants to set the hut. That's the only reason why. Anyway, guys. All right, guys. It's a